Atlas really smashed it out of their niche boundary with Persona 5, with the game and its spin-offs managing to crack that sweet 10 million sales. It's clear that this is Atlas's big break, so to speak. People are waiting for that next mainline Persona game. The anticipation for Persona 6 is clear and apparent, but with no clear announcement from Atlas, it's very much speculation season. And today I wanted to ask, will Persona 6 play it safe? Okay, we're in Kyoto City Limits. Is this good? I really have to go. Atlas isn't a company that's averse to taking risks. A few great examples would include their recent releases, Reviving Soul Hackers, even if it should have been called something else. All of these Persona spin-offs attempting to create wildly different gameplay styles. Even Metaphor Refantasio looks to be a very different kind of game. However, Persona 5 is one of the games that they have that's been acknowledged worldwide as pretty good. That's not to say it's the only one, just the biggest one. This game has received a ton of collaborations with mobile gacha games, a variety of spin-off titles, and even technically its own sequel. It's clear and apparent that this game has broke the ice for the series and has put Persona on people's radars. But does that success mean Atlas is going to stick with what they know in the future? That's the thing I'm thinking about. Sometimes when you strike success, the best thing to do is to do it again. I mean, Atlas has kind of already been doing this with Persona. 3, 4, and 5 share a ton of similarities. It's very easy to see those, especially between 4 and 5. However, that's not wholly a bad thing either. The thing that truly matters, especially for Persona and JRPGs, is the story being told in those games, which in this case wound up being pretty much wholly different. And of course, that's no excuse not to change it up in the next title, but it is some reassurance that the next game could be very similar and still be good. But I think people are looking for something much newer, much more different with Persona 6, while also staying the same. The core reason I think that Atlas might play it safe with Persona 6 is that the series now has a strong core identity that resonates with a lot of people, and shaking up that foundation could result in a lot less interest in Persona 6. Huh? Am I what? As I said before, Atlas is not a company averse to taking risks. That doesn't mean they don't ever play it safe. I mean, wanting to make a rhythm game and slapping Persona onto it isn't really a risk. I mean, a lot of people will buy anything one of their favorite series is slapped onto. But I don't think Atlas is going to fully rest on their laurels with Persona 6. There will definitely be similar elements. I very much doubt we are moving out of a high school setting. That's something that is not just core to modern Persona, it's also just generally a very popular setting for JRPGs. People have been asking for an older cast, but I don't think, especially if the setting is still in Japan, that it makes a ton of sense for the games to move to college. Even an office setting could be very difficult to write for these kind of games. Gameplay elements will definitely stay, with Reload picking up the baton, get it? I doubt baton pass will be going in. Turn-based combat is also pretty much guaranteed to stay, and of course the style that Persona has been known for is definitely also going to become a staple for the series. But with a change in the series director, there will definitely be changes overall to the game. While we cannot be sure of anything right now, the main formula of the game could easily receive some decent shifts, and I think it kind of needs to. Persona 4 and 5 follow a very similar formula both when it comes to introducing new characters as they introduce them slowly throughout the story, and new arcs tend to center around that character. The, there's a very clear system here that is very similar with a lot of things. I'm sure the next game will attempt to shake this up at least even a little bit, and I pretty much doubt that Persona 6 is going to end up being near exactly the same as Persona 5. I think it'll still share the core things that make Persona Persona, but it's hopefully going to shift away from the same approach that 5 used for storytelling. Kind of. It's kind of hard to explain what I'm thinking. Damn it! What I generally mean to say is that I don't think Persona 6 is going to deviate that much. I think it's going to expand and innovate rather than reinvent. The reinvention between 2 and 3 clearly brought the series a bit more into the limelight and the wild jump between 4 and 5 in terms of visuals and presentation caught a lot of people's attention. Personally, I think, for Persona 6 right now, 
that game is better off keeping things that worked about 5 and making them better, while taking the things that didn't work in 5 and either discarding them or experimenting with them a little bit more. If anything was shown to me, simply just from vanilla P5 to Persona 5 Royal, it's that the developers at P Studios are somehow capable of taking and adding brand new mechanics without it ever feeling like those were tacked on. I can barely imagine playing Persona 5 without the Royal editions now. I still remember loving base Persona 5, but then Royal came out and suddenly I felt like I was playing a whole different game, but yet the exact same game I played before. It's a very strange thing to describe. I truly hope that Persona 6 can recapture that magic, even if it does wind up being a wholly different game. And do you think Persona 6 will receive a lot of changes? Let me know down in the comments below. As always, you can leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and you could leave a dislike if you disagreed with me, I guess. Subscribe to the channel for more things Atlas, Persona, and JRPG related. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. What the fuck?